It's Crip Time! Well, hello YouTube, welcome to another King of the Crib. Oh, I'm on my sofa today. Yep, it's all a bit different here on this episode of King of the Crib because for many, many reasons, I haven't been able to get out to the places that you're suggesting to try the lovely things that you message me about. But thank you for messaging. I've had a ton of messages and people getting in touch to say where they would like me to go. So keep those messages coming at the King of Crib on Twitter. That'd be really good. But because I couldn't get out and about, I thought I would go in a slightly different direction today because we all like a bit of crib at home, don't we? That's where it all started. People having crib, middle of the day, out working on the fields, having a pasty, having a sandwich or a pie brought out to them to enjoy during their working day. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have some crib right here at home. I'm not gonna make it because my baking skills are zero. So I'm gonna have someone make it for me. And there are many companies around who will make you baked goods and post them to you. Loads of pasty companies do it. We all have our own favorite pasty company, don't we? Let's not beat around the bush. We all like one, not another. In Cornwall, it's a topic of conversation that happens over and over and over again. I mean, they've even made video games about it. Peter, Peter, look, I've just been into the conference lunchroom. What have you done? I'm sorry, Michael, I ordered Warren's. I had one the other day, it was nice. Peter, we always get Rose. Always get Rose. Uh, I'm well teasy, who the hell ordered Warren's? I ordered Warren's, they were lovely. I said we should order Philbs, lunch is ruined now. I said we should get Rose. The pastry's too thick on a Rose, you idiot. Rose. Philbs. Hey. Now look. I said we should get Rose, my friend. Watch it, I'll stick a warrant up your bum hole. Peter. Hey, hey, all right, all right. Rose all the way. All right, gentlemen, no one move. Oh, oh prima hell. pasties oh. here, prima pasties. Anne's pasties, Anne's pasties, stay what? where you are. Uh, Anne's? Who wants a pasty with a top crimp? I do. Oh, Bob, you're dead to me. Put the guns down. The big boys are here. Hell, Ginsters have got a helicopter. Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> but today, I'm going to try one that I've not tried before. It's called the Over the Top Pasty Company. Now, they are based in Callington. They are a little independent bakers, and according to their Twitter account, they make pasties just like their grandmothers used to make. Oh, a homemade pasty is amazing. And if these guys are anything to go by, they have got a lot of love on Twitter, and their pasties are very, very popular. So, because I'm not going out and about this week, they're gonna bring them to me. Now, I was thinking, why are they called over the top? pasties? Have they got something weird in them? Do you have them with champagne? Have you got to dress up in your best suit? No. On their website it says we all crimp over the top which is not usual for many parts of Cornwall. Our grandmothers, great grandmothers, relatives, neighbours all crimped in the same old-fashioned over-the-top way. So yeah I would say most bakery pasties are crimped on the side but let's give this a go. I've got nothing against an over-the-top crimp as long as the inside is blooming tasty. So on their website they do a box called the mystery box now this box costs 35 pounds the fun thing is you don't actually know what baked goods you're gonna get in the box I can see on their website they do pasties or oh, traditional all sorts of flavors they also do pies oh my gosh I love a pork pie I love a chicken and bacon pie I, lo I love any kind of pie to be honest they do sausage rolls one is called the filthy roll I don't know what's in that we can only guess it's a proper tasty kind of filthy and not something else 35 pound I don't know how many things you get they say that you get a load of stuff 40 pounds pounds worth of stuff in a 35 pound box. So we're gonna water one up, it's gonna turn up in a few days, we're gonna cook it, we're gonna taste it, we're gonna rate it. Let's order it up and uh, yeah, see what happens. This is it, this is the mystery box from the over-the-top pasty company. I tell you what, I can't wait. Let's crack on into this and see what the mysteries are inside the lid of the mystery box from the over-the-top pasty company. I can't wait. So, 
I've opened up the mystery box. It is exactly that. You don't know what you're gonna get, but what I've got is amazing. I've got four steak pasties, a hunter's chicken pasty, which I'm very much looking forward to, a cheese and bacon pasty, which again, amazing, a tandoori chicken pasty, another chicken pasty, some kind of pizza pasty, which, yes, mind blown. I've got two sausage rolls, love it, and some kind of pie. This is amazing. I need to look up the cooking instructions from the Over The Top Pasty Company website. We're gonna bang these in the oven and get them in my tummy. <laughs> it's a really hard job, but uh, yeah, I'll do it for you guys. I'll do it for you. later probably the longest hour and 15 minutes of my life <laughs> I can't wait to try these during the cooking they smelled and looked amazing and they're all ready they were in the oven for an hour and 15 that was 20 minutes at 210 degrees and then another 55 minutes at 175 degrees all got from the over-the-top pasty company website on the cooking instructions very simple everything went in at the same time and everything's coming out at the same time so as you can see what we've got here we have got the traditional pasty looks amazing we have got the hunters chicken pasty leaked a bit during cooking don't mind they got lovely gravy everywhere we have got the cheese and bacon pie oh looks amazing we have also got the pizza pasty interesting and also this the tandoori chicken pasty but it's got a j on it <laughs> maybe it'll come obvious when we bite into it oh jerk chicken no that would be no that would just be jerk chicken not sure why tandoori has got a j on it anyway it'll probably all make sense once we bite into it oh i can't wait so let's just get stuck in Makes sense that we start traditional. Here we go. Oh, as you can see, beautiful colour. What a lovely colour on that pasty. It is crimped over the top, the over the top pasty company. That's their thing. Looks amazing though. Look at that. Bit of egg wash. It's cooked really nicely in the oven or oh, from frozen to in your face in an hour and 15. Oh, it's like a lullaby. <laughs> right. It smell it does smell beautiful. I'm gonna go hands because why not? Okay. Oh my gosh, it's straight out of the oven. I now no longer have a roof of my mouth. <laughs> I don't care. Mm. Mm. It's absolutely amazing. It's seasoned really well. It's really nice and moist and juicy inside. There's a lot of gravy in this pasty. The pastry is really tasty. Meat is really nice really nicely cooked meat can you see that in there that is a very 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 tasty pasty it's, it's up there with some of the best i've had from these kind of do it at home from a frozen kind of thing it is properly tasty let's uh let's move on to this the hunter's chicken i think for the next one i'm gonna have a bib <laughs> i'm gonna put a bib on like i well, I, I need to because it's a messy job oh. Let's just put the little bib there like an old man. 
in the field. Yeah, bib. The crib bib. <laughs> a crib bib. It's a crib bib. Good. Merch coming soon. <laughs> it's got a H on for hunters. It's got a little hole in there. Oh, hello. I am the hunter's pasty. And at the moment, I'm burning Colin's thumbs. All right, good. They, they talk to you. They're, 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 it's, it's puppetry with pasties as a new YouTube series. Okay, so this Hunter's one. Hunter's chicken, uh, for my mind, is like chicken with like barbecue sauce, isn't it? And cheese. Oh, okay, there you go. So inside there, I can see you get some beautiful chicken, some lovely barbecue sauce, maybe a bit of cheese, a bit of veg. That is smelling. Oh, absolutely amazing. Nice bits of big old chicken in there. Again, seasoned really well. Nice bit of salt and pepper. The veg, yes, it's nice. I think that kind of veg goes well with beef, if I'm honest. But the sauce is adding something quite nice to it. Chicken, again. Website is absolutely spot on. It cooks the same amount of time as the traditional pasty. And it's come out really well. But as a pasty goes, it's really tasty. You know, if you're at home and you've got friends at home coming over, this is just something nice and different. And that is a good diversion from a traditional pasty, a successful diversion. And uh, yeah, I would give that, um, I give that a go again. That's really nice. What we're gonna try next is something that I'm <laughs> a tiny bit apprehensive about, mixed in with the same amount of excitement because it's a pizza pasty. What the heck is that? I think if you go to Italian restaurants, sometimes you have a calzone and it looks a bit like a pasty, doesn't it? It's folded over pizza. It's not that. This is an actual pasty that they say is a pizza pasty. It's got the crimp almost along the side there. Oh yeah, not on brand over the top pasty company. It's on the side. I don't know what this is gonna entail. Okay, but let's give it a go. Oh, 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 I can see. All right, so from what I can see, there is some lovely vegetables in there. There is some tomato in there. There looks like to be some pepperoni in there. Oh, it's smelling like, a, a, you'll be astonished. It's smelling like a delicious pizza <laughs> in a pasty. Oh, there's a beautiful bit of, what is that there? Look at that. 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 Mmm. Mmm. Lovely bit of thick pepperoni. That is amazing. Mmm. Do you know what? I'm so excited. The sun's gone in my eye. <laughs> Call an ambulance. What happened, Mr. Lego? I got blinded by a pizza pasty. As you can see, loads of onion, tomato, Beautiful bit of smoked sausage or pepperoni in there, thick pepperoni, not your thin slices. That is a proper, proper thick slice of pepperoni. It's a proper full on meat lover pizza with cheese and onion and tomato in a beautiful pastry case. Now, if you're looking for your traditional pasty, this is not it. However, if you're looking for a tasty alternative, little snack, this is definitely it. This, this is brilliant. Mm. Right, we'll move on. I, I can't get over that pizza pasty. That is absolutely amazing. I'm eating so much pastry, it's unreal. I'm having the right meltdown, but it's lovely, isn't it? A lovely pastry meltdown. Oh. Now this is the tandoori pasty. Not something I would choose in a shop, if I'm honest, if I was gonna go into a pasty shop. Well, straight away, you can smell that is a tandoori chicken filled a bit of loveliness you know when you have like a kebab and you go to one of those grill places that smells absolutely beautiful mm. <laughs> very very tasty not too spicy a nice tiny bit of heat coming through but again the chicken is cooked really well the instructions on the website have been bang on once again cooked to perfection, everything is cooked at the same time. Tandoori chicken pasty, very, very nice. I think for the money, 
For £35, you get nine pasties, two sausage rolls, and a beautiful pie. That is good quality. I worked it out, and that is just under £3 per item. Now, the pasties are a good size. They are a brilliant quality pasty. It doesn't matter if the crimp is over the top or on the side. It does not matter because they taste brilliant. Overall, over the top pasty company. You have blown me away with the quality of your things in this mystery box. I like the surprise of not knowing what you're gonna get, but what I did get was 12 brilliant items and a lovely selection. So let's rate the over the top pasty company for all the lovely things that they've sent me. We'll go out of 30 again. We'll do one to 10 for quality of ingredients and taste of ingredients. We'll do one to 10 for value for money, that kind of thing. And we'll do one to 10 for their service, for how quick it got to me and for the instructions on the website and that kind of thing. So what am I gonna score it for their service and the speed at which it got here and for their website? Well, I tell you what, it got here really quickly. It was only like a day and a half and I had all these lovely things to put in my freezer so I can't fault that and also the instructions on the website are really clear and really exact and they do work you put things in the oven when they say you should put things in the oven and they come out really nice so I'm gonna score that 10 out of 10 well done over the top pasty company your service is spot-on value for money I think that is a good good price 35 pound for all those things and it might seem a little bit hefty when you're doing it but actually it works out at just under three pound an item maybe i'd like a pork pie they say they do pork pies on their website i'm a fan of a pork pie but for value for money i think that is good i'm going to give that a solid nine out of ten for value for money and for the actual things for for quality of ingredients and the quality of the product I have loved every one of these. The traditional pasty was really nice. One of my top pasties at the moment, that was really good. The pizza pasty, which has absolutely blown me away, really nice. And I like the fact they gave me some things I wouldn't normally buy. So I'm gonna give them a solid 10 out of 10 for quality of ingredients and the way things turned out. So over the top pasty company, you have scored a massive 29 out of 30 for this experience, the mystery box experience. So do check them out on Twitter, OTT on Twitter. Check out their website, Over The Top Pasty Company. They are a beautiful thing to have in your freezer, a little bit of crib in your freezer that you can just whack in the oven, and an hour and 20's time you've got it on your plate and you can just lie and say you made it, why not? <laughs> and if you have tried them, comment on the video, comment on YouTube and let me know what you thought, and also comment and tell me where you would like me to go. This is probably the only video I'm gonna do at home, and then next week I'm gonna be out and about trying the places that you tell me. So for now, I'm gonna leave you enjoying this lovely pizza pasty and I'll see you next time on King of the Crib where we're out and about in lovely Cornwall. See you later my friends, have a good one.